What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, or this like this particular thing for a while, um, but I never really um, felt like I had enough of a collection to do so. Uh, but recently, I've been asked. Uh, and I'm, it's almost come up in every single one of the live shows <clears throat> or the live streams. Um, what's your most expensive card or what's your biggest card or how many slabs do you have what's in your collection what does your pc look like so on and so forth so um i thought it was going to be a good opportunity to uh to just kind of go over some stuff that i have uh I actually i had not done this in a, in a while <clears throat> mainly just because i've been um sending stuff off to get graded and then just throwing them in a box once i once i get them um, and what I'm waiting on is I'm going to kind of redesign this whole little backspace here as I'm moving stuff around here in my, my little studio slash man cave, whatever, slash office, whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm going to put a whole bunch more stuff. So, uh, I need to order a bunch more, um, cases from collect 3d prints. If you go check out the link in the description down at the bottom, um, they do all the cases for, uh, you know, to be able to put stuff up on the, on the shelves and stuff. So, uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get a bunch more of those on order. Um, so I can, uh, see, so I can just kind of display them anyway. Um, so what I wanted to do was just uh, kind of give you guys a quick rundown of uh of what we have or of what i have uh as far as um as far as uh slabs so you guys saw this one so this is just deandre hopkins uh not deandre hopkins deshaun watson um the rookies it's just psa 10 the rookies like that's really pretty much it um not really much else to look at um i just picked this one up uh, it was pretty cheap I, I thought it was a pretty decent price, so I picked it up. I think that um, once his uh, once his legal woes are, are done, he I mean the guy's a top ten quarterback no matter what. So um, I got a I got a handful of other raw rookie cards of his, uh, and and I'll go over the graded stuff that I have right now. If you guys are interested in seeing like the loose stuff that isn't graded that I have that's that I I feel is worthy of looking at. Uh, let me know too in the in the comments and we'll go through those. So we're gonna start off kind of with the worst. Um, I picked these up. You guys know my rule. I have a rule of n no more than a hundred dollars. So some of these slabs I paid obviously a lot less for, and some of them uh, I, anything I I didn't pay more than a hundred bucks for. So I'll just keep that in mind. Uh, this is a uh, an Elijah Wan scoreboard. This was a uh, I think this was a Nationals exclusive. Um. A conventional yeah so the national convention exclusive card um there was only what does that say i don't know how many there was but uh this one's autographed and it's authenticated so it was pretty dope <clears throat> uh psa 8 zion williams silver sticker uh these are really hard to get uh good grades on because they're essentially stickers and the packaging that they come in are just terrible and they get damaged pretty quickly and and, and oftentimes uh, get damaged so um let me move this out of the way this is kind of my way uh oh um i have a handful of these so i, I picked up a lot of 87 88 89 elijah Wan. uh as you guys know my 86 elijah Wan, fleer elijah ones are over at psa right now uh, they've been there for almost a year. Um, so 88 Fleer, PSA 8, 87 Fleer, PSA 8. Um, here's my top stadium club uh, that I picked up a while a while back, uh, PSA 8. Again, these are also very hard to get in a high grade. Um, you guys know because of the chipping. Uh, they're pretty susceptible to chipping uh, on this foil. Uh, and then they're pretty hard to get uh, at a, with a decent uh, with decent centering. So uh, PSA eight uh, eighty seven Fleer. This is the sticker. 
87 Fleer PSA 8 Elijah one. And then I picked up a handful of these, uh, very cheap. Um, so this is Elijah one Hardaway and Sean Kemp. So it's kind of like my Holy Trinity <laughs> of nineties basketball PC. Um, so I love that card. Uh, I actually have a handful of those, so we'll kind of run through those. Um, this is probably one of my favorite, um, Jordan stickers that I have. Uh, so this is a 97 collector's choice in a mint nine, which is pretty damn good. It's kind of hard to get a mint nine. I'm not exactly sure what this is worth now, but uh, I did not pay much for it when I picked it up. Um, we'll get into some PSA nines now. This is, again, that same card in a PSA nine. I was picking up these for pretty cheap, maybe 10, 15 bucks a card uh, in a PSA nine. Right now in a PSA 10, they're super hard to get in a PSA 10 because of the centering. The centering on these is usually dog shit. Um because I'm not exactly sure how they grade it. If they grade it like, because these are actually three individual cards. Uh, they're meant to be like mini cards, um, but nobody ever breaks them like that. So, um, gold label, class one, mint nine, Akeem Olajuwon. Again, not really anything epic. It's not numbered or anything like that. Um, and then this is probably. I may have gone over my budget on this of a hundred bucks, but I think I did so like after taxes and shipping and all that stuff. So, um, I saw this and I had to have it gold select die cut, uh, gold to nine, uh, to 10 number to 10. So this is four of 10. Um, I might consider selling this if anybody's interested, let me know because there's another card coming up that I'm that I got my eye on. Um, Sean Kemp rookie card, Mint 9. Again, picked up pretty cheap. Uh, 88 Fleer, Mint 9. I got two of them. Again, uh, super old card, hard to get in a good grade. Um, not sure what 10s are going for these days, but I picked these up relatively cheap. Um, so I'm pretty happy that I, that I did. Um, cause this is a good card. So my idea was to line up my 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, like Fleer, but PSA is really screwing with those plans. So those are my, uh, mint nine and belows. And then I'll, um, kind of show you guys my, my PSA 10 stack. <clears throat> those of you that watched the video on, um, on the, um, uh, the, not the raffle, but the mystery packs that I did with uh, Chase My Cards. I did win uh, the Luka Doncic second year Prism Base PSA 10. Pick that one up. It's kind of dope. Uh, big Shot Bob. You guys know I'm a big fan of Big Shot Bob. Got his members only rookie card in a 10. Uh, of course, got Sean Kemp uh, 90 Fleer in a 10. So, again, not, not really – no big – I oftentimes tell people whenever they ask me about this in the um, in the live streams, they're like, "What's your biggest card?" And I guess they're like expecting me to pull out like a you know ten fifteen thousand dollar card. I don't have anything like that. Um, I like opening up old packs that are not I don't want to say worthless, but not not really much monetary value to them. I like collecting for the sake of collecting. Um, I do have these two, so Hakeem Olajuwon All Stars. Okay. These are these come in that Sears All Star Pack, um, in in a ten. Uh, I picked those up relatively cheap. Uh, this is an eighty nine Fleer, PSA ten Elijah Wan and Clyde Drexler, in the All Star game. If you guys know the history behind these guys in the five Slamma Jamma days from the U of H, uh, University of Houston days, um, these boys were bad. They were bad Mamma Jammas. Um, eighty nine Fleer in a PSA ten. All right, 90 Fleer and a PSA 10. And then I may have picked this one up for like 20 bucks. I can't remember. Just like having PSA 10 uh, Elijah ones. Um, 91 Fleer, PSA 10. And then this was a silver prism um, from, the, uh, from the 2019. So I am doing the full rainbow chase on this. Um, I'm almost there, obviously down to like all the ones that are numbered 10 or below, as you would expect. Uh, just love the artwork on this one. Uh, Akeem Olajuwon, love the artwork on this one. This one was pretty dope. Uh, so it was in a 10, so I picked it up. Um, the majority of these I actually picked up 
um, I want to say sometime late last year, uh, probably even before, uh, maybe late 2018, early 2019, 2020, um, before I, I, I started subbing with P, with SGC. So we'll get into some of the SGC stuff here in a second, but, uh, tops finest in a 10, that one's kind of dope. Again, some of these cars might, might've gone up in value since I bought them. I have no idea, but this is kind of one of my, I guess, crowning achievements. Uh, that I've done with uh, buying graded cards. Um, the three Tops Gold from 92 Tops Gold. Um, the base, the All-Star, and the 50-point club. And the only one I really need now is the one with uh, the Beam Team from 92 Tops, which has uh, Kemp, Elijah Wan, and Kerr, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in the gold, I would like to have that in a PSA 10. Somebody has one on eBay right now, but they want like $300 for it. And not going to get that from me, champ. Uh, Kevin Port Jr., y'all know that's my dude. Been uh, stacking up on him. Uh, Stickums, uh, Elijah Wan in a 10. And uh, some Capellas. So this is just an uh, auto to like 199 I think. Yep. Uh, auto to 199 in a 10. This is a Capella Dazzle Gold to 10. Again, picked these up really cheap um, before he kind of went to Atlanta. I kind of I picked him up while he was still playing uh, with the Rockets. So, uh, Green Pulsar to 25 in a 10. Not bad. Uh, here's another one. I think this one's actually identical to that one. I might have bought in two of them uh, without knowing. But both of these to one ninety nine. Picked them up pretty cheap in a ten. Y'all know IPC Capella, so <clears throat> not bad there. Uh, here's another one to forty nine in a ten, and then a couple of tie dies. So I have a tie die auto to ten. Pretty dope. I like that one. Purple Prism Fast Break to I think this was seventy five. Yep, seventy five. Kind of dope card there in a 10. Uh, Elijah Wan 2014 Select Silver in a 10. This is another one that I might have paid more than the 100, I think. Um, this is Top's Finest, 94 Top's Finest, Elijah Wan Base in a 10. Kind of a dope card. I like that one too. And then y'all know I don't know jack about baseball, but I do like my man Correa, so I did pick up his rookie. Uh, this is Bowman. Bowman, I think. I think this is his rookie. Let's just show you how much I know about baseball, but Correa rookie. So uh, I think that's it for PSA. I have a lot of PSA. Um, not, I mean, not a lot. There's only like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven eight nine and ten so i have maybe 20 maybe 30 psa slabs maybe 40 shit i might have more than that yeah like 45 slabs 46 so not a whole lot I mean, I don't have like a huge, huge, huge collection. I know some guys have got hundreds upon hundreds of uh, slabs, which that is not the case for me. Um, so let's get into some of my HGA stuff. I also keep in mind, I have a lot of stuff up there, a lot of stuff up there as well, right? So I have like my, you know, my Shaq rookie. I got some Kobe stuff up there. I got that Jordan 9.5 and the 89 Fleer, uh, a Luka. I got some stuff up there too. Which, you know, I might I might take that down and show y'all one day, but um, for now we'll just go over these here. Uh, Anthony Edwards, you guys saw this probably in the last uh, break video. Uh, Kenyon Martin Jr., Anthony Edwards, just some recent stuff that I bought. Um, Tyrese Halliburton, I love the slabs on this thing, man. This thing's pretty dope. Just the color, I think they hit it like perfect on the color. The slab is nice and sturdy. Just good stuff. Same thing on this Anthony Edwards. They just killed it with the color combo. Love, love, love the color combo. And then 
obviously y'all know my man Kenyon Martin chasing him pretty hard him and Jashawn Tate this year um and then again the Ant-Man pretty dope I wish this would have like jammed I mean they gave the they gave the edges a, a, a nine five or a nine and the surface a nine so kind of weird but uh Jordan Barcelona kind of dope card there and then these are my extras from the dream this is my extra from the dream team I sent in a couple extras of both because um I just I wanted to make a decent set of the uh, of this one right here that I have on display. So I have the full set here on display, all in a, all in a HGA nine, and then this was just kind of an extra that I had. So if anybody's interested in this one, let me know. I'll let it go for for Deut cheap. Uh, Kobe Mint nine, nice card there. And then um, this is a Kobe Shaquille tops double feature refractor. On the Kobe side in an eight and a half. Uh, kind of dope there. This was the one that got rejected by PSA. PSA said it was trimmed. Which they were full of shit. But. So those are my HGA slabs. Uh, one thing I did want to point out. If you look at the the plastic. You know there's there's been a lot of issues with bowing. You know like people getting bowed slabs. Um, this was the old plastic. And then this is the new plastic. And if, if you compare them. I have yet to get a bowed slab. Uh, in this new plastic however um i still have i think it's the jordan that was really bad yeah i still have this jordan that is kind of bowed I, I i haven't made a big deal about it i could call p uh hj and i'm sure they'll re-slab it for me in the new in the new slab but um since they switched over to this new polymer i haven't had any issues uh with bowing uh of any slabs so um let's see we got a couple one touches here uh, most of these are just going to be like National Treasure stuff. So here's a Capella. National Treasure autograph to 99. The old Yames Harden sensational swatches. Now some of these you guys might not know who they are. But this is old Coutinho Mobley. Um, played with my Rockets. Uh, Sam Cassell. Instrumental in our two championships. Here's the Jet. Again, instrumental in the championships. I don't know why I have this in a one touch. It's not really... One touch worthy, but hey, what the hell? Uh, Vernon Maxwell, Mad Max. He punched a guy right in the face. If you guys know that story. Um, I think I picked this up dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Uh, Patrick Beverly. Kind of cool card there. Big Shot Bob, Patch Auto. Y'all know I fucks with Big Shot Bob. Pulsar, Elijah Juan, Prism to 149 autograph. Pretty pumped about that one. And then a couple Capellas. Actually, no, this is just a Noir Capella. Numbered, not numbered. Just a Noir. And then old Calvin Murphy. To 75. No, to 25. Sorry. National Treasure. Patch Auto. So, that's that. And then finally, we'll take a look at um, the SGC Slabs. Some of you guys are familiar with this one. Eight and a half, eight and a half on the Bowman's Best. These were cracked and re-slabbed from PSA 7s, I believe. Um, so these all got eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. Um, retirement Jordan pulled this one myself, eight and a half. Uh, this is total bonehead moment from my end. Um, this was extremely off-center, like top to bottom. Like it almost cut off the tops thing. So it's just terribly off-center that I did not catch that. Um, SGC eight on the 87 Fleer eight and a half on the beam team. I was hoping to get like a nine, nine and a half on this one. Uh, that's why I submitted it. Uh, three and a half on the Yames. I don't know if you can see it. There's a pretty big like crease right down the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it there. It's like right there. And I did not catch that. So now I live with the shame of a three and a half the shame eight and a half on the yames rookie again pc stuff another kobe rookie eight and a half on that one power in the key beautiful beautiful card i love this card if i had to pick one card that i would say is my ultimate favorite it's this power in the key set um iconic players iconic design uh really 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 hard to get 
to keep one in good condition uh, because of the chipping. Um, so that one's pretty uh, pretty special there to me. Um, Sam Vincent, you'll notice Jordan in the 12 jersey there. So old Sammy Vincent. Uh, intense, Elijah Wan, gold. This is probably one of like the prettiest cards ever. Um, more of the Fleer, Scoring Kings. That's in a nine. Uh, here's the Elijah Wan, 88, 89, and a nine. More of the Bowman. This one was a PSA 7 when we cracked it. This one also was a PSA 7 when we cracked it. Um, seven or eight, something like that. I, I can't remember. You guys can go back and watch the video. Um, a Lamello in a 10. Pretty happy about that one. Probably hold on to this one for a little bit. Um, Dante DiVincenzo in a 10. Zion Williams, instant impact in a 10. Kyler Murray, select base in a 10. Beautiful card. I think that's like one of the best looking cards. The select. I mean, it's a concourse, right? Not really anything special. Uh, it would have been dope if it was like in the in the silver, but it's not. This is just a base. I pulled this one myself. Um, but just a great card. I mean, just it's almost like he almost like fits it like perfectly. Like the the hourglass like frame that's in the background. I don't know. Everything about this card just screams good looking. Um, so and then he he just had a badass week one. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Here's uh, this one was originally a PSA eight graded a PSA eight. Um, cracked it, re-slabbed it, came back a 10. I mean, what else do you want? And then a little Pokemon action. My Snorlax VMAX. I'm not, I'm not big, big, big into Pokemon, but I do love Snorlax. He's my favorite uh, character. So I will occasionally pick up some Snorlax stuff. I think there's, what you guys can see like way back in the back there. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, nine fives. Again, this was uh, also a crack and re-slab from PSA. I think it was a seven or an eight. Came back a nine five. This one was a seven. Uh, John Morant came back a five. I mean, uh, nine five. Um, this is the winter edition of the um, Faces of the Future. Luka Doncic rookie card. A uh, couple of nine fives on the. Uh, I have two of these. There's uh, the Shock Prism Shock. 9.5 on the sticker, which I was super excited to get this because this is a European sticker in the uh, kind of Damascus pattern um, rookie sticker for uh, Zion. Uh, getting a 9.5 and a sticker is just like, it's freaking amazing. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, first year of of Prism, Elijah Wan, got that in a 9.5. Uh, pretty excited to get that. I have a handful of these, maybe like 20 to 25 more of these that I need to really skim through and send them out because I would love to get a 10 in that. Uh, 89 hoops, Elijah Juan, 89 hoops, Jordan. Pretty happy to get that card there. Uh, Panini 9091 sticker, Jordan uh, in a 9.5. All star Jordan in a 9.5. All star, I think this is 89. Yep, 8990 hoops, all star, and a 9.5. Pretty happy about that. Trey Young, 9.5. That's uh, kind of matches with that other one. Here, right here. I got lucky. I don't know how I went exactly to it, but there you go. A couple of those and a 9.5. This kid's hopefully going to kick ass next season. Uh, and then a base uh, select Trey Young and a 9.5. And that's going to do it. Oh, I got one. I actually do have a Beckett. One Beckett, <laughs> one Beckett in a nine five true gem mint nine five. Uh, actually, no, the surface is a nine. Almost, almost a, almost a ten, almost a pristine. So, pretty happy about that too. All right, um, so that's it. I, I, I didn't, you know, if you guys are interested, this was a pretty long one. I mean, about I, I just kind of want to put it out there, and I wanted to document, I guess, my collection, so to speak. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave me a like, hit the subscribe button. I got um, a lot of stuff that I can actually just show. Um, that's not exactly um, that's not exactly graded. Like I wanted to show like all my graded stuff. Like so, so, this is the extent of my graded collection. So I don't really have a whole lot of stuff, as you can see. 
um, I was able to go through my entire collection in like 20 minutes. Um, so if you guys are interested, I, I can break them up into smaller videos where I can do maybe just like all my rocket stuff that's non-graded. I have a lot of Jordan stuff that's non-graded. So if you're interested in that stuff, let me know. Um, I can I can pull out quite a bit of stuff. Um, if you guys just didn't like the video, then just be like, hey, man, we don't, we don't care about your collection, bro. Just give us the analytics. I'm cool with that, too. So anyway, uh, kind of a long one. If you stuck around, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I got a bunch of stuff coming out this week. Um, the update video on Wednesdays. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and schedule uh, the live for this Saturday and hopefully every Saturday going forward. So um, as always, I love you. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you. Peace.